Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's solve one more question and I have created two more questions of the same set. The question is find the difference between union and union all. This is very commonly asked during interviews if you are preparing for analytics or data engineering roles, this might be very common. Okay, so you are given two tables, table A and table B and there are respective rows in each of the two tables. Okay, so table A contains two rows, one and two, table B contains three rows, three, two and one. Now, for union all, if you understand, union all simply says that append the two tables irrespective of duplicates, irrespective of nulls, right? You should append all the rows that are there in the two tables. So pretty simple, right? If I simply try to do union all, it is saying that append the table B to the table A, right? So this is table A, 1 and 2, and simply append the table B. So you, what do you get? You get 1, 2, 3, 2 and 1, right? This is what you get. I'll just make this uh, a little easier yeah so this is coming from table a just to ensure that you know it's it's kind of color coded and this is coming from your table b right now what happens with union union simply says that append the two tables but there should not be any duplicates that's that's what union is saying right so for that all you all you'll get is 1 2 and 3 because 1 and 2 are common in customer id table of table b right this column of customer id it also contains 2 and 1 so when it will try to do this appending it will find two common elements and it will ensure that you know those two duplicates are not present so that is the output of union now let's take one more question and and now i'll try to trick you here so what i am doing is uh, let me probably place this question here. Okay. Now, what is the question? Now, let's see this table. Okay. Just see these two tables. What I've done is I've simply appended one one row each to table A and table B and that is the element that I've added is one, right? Now, what will happen to union all? As we've said, right, union all is nothing but irrespective of whatever is there in the two tables, you will simply keep on appending the tables. Okay? So that is pretty simple. There is no brain to it. This is what you get in the union all part, right? So these three rows are coming from table A. Okay? This is coming from table A. And these three rows are coming from table B. This is interesting. Now, what will happen to union? In union, we were saying that only the non-duplicate elements should be present in the final output table. Okay, that is what we are saying. Now, in the table A itself, there are, there are duplicates, right? One, two, and one. So, it contains one as a duplicate. And eventually, when this union works, right, the back end of, of this union, what it is doing is it is kind of doing the appending of the two tables and then it is kind of doing sorting or hashing and 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 after that it is doing the distinction so the answer that you will get here is one two from the first table you will not get this one why because it will get removed eventually because it is a duplicate within the same table itself right it does not care where this duplicate is irrespective of this being a duplicate it will get removed right this is where a lot of people make mistake and get confused now the third element that you will get is this three okay so this is the answer of union do not make this mistake this is very common mistake that a lot of people do now let's solve the third question okay now what i have done is i have added the null value into this so what will happen same thing, right? As I'm saying again and again, for union all, for union all, there is no brainer at all, right? You just need to append the two tables. So you will get 1, 2, 3 null and you will get 3, 2, 1 null, right? It will simply attend, append all of, this, all of these three rows into it. As, as you can see, right? I'm just color coding it so that you understand this is how, this is, this is where the tables are coming from. Now, what will happen for union if you've understood, right? In union, it will not contain duplicates, right? So duplicates should not be present. That's the whole idea, right? And given null is present in both the tables, null is also seen here as kind of a duplicate, right? So 
So you will try to remove that null also. So ideally the answer will be, so 1, 2 comes from this table. You get a null and you also get a 3. Right? That's the answer. That is the answer of this table, right? So you just need to understand that even null here, it has to be removed out, right? Because it was a duplicate present in table B. So you, you are also considering that, right? That's, that's the difference between union versus union all versus, uh, you know, within the three set of questions that we've done. Hope you've liked it. Uh, do share it across. It will help me make more such videos. Thank you, everyone.